All right. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. All right. So, first off, we'll le explain the challenge. So, what the challenge is on this. Okay. We're going to be playing in hard mode with zero um, on screen UI. In other words, no health bar, no spell diamond, no mini map, no nothing. You'll have just a clear screen. And we will be in hard mode. So, let's see what we can do. And what I want in character. Kind of liking that one for her. Yeah, I want to make her pale. Well, as pale as I can make her. Uh, no glasses. Hairstyle. Well, hair color first off. Uh, perfect. do the short hair version this one just so we're not having the color glit clipping her eye color uh, it's actually not too bad uh, I gotta change eyebrow color though As you can guess just from the hair color, I am making her a Malfoy. We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages Ooh. since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I really wish they would fix the pitch for the voices so they don't sound so robotic <laughs> when you change it. So I really would like to have a different pitch to the character. Maybe a little bit deeper voice. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, Dragon. I believe he <laughs> is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do- How? <laughs> Now here's the question. Now it's facing towards the ground. Why didn't he just fall out? <laughs> Why didn't he just let himself fall out? I mean, I don't know about you, but I certainly would. I'm in the middle. I'm in the mouth of a dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of there as quick as possible. <laughs> I'm not gonna be hanging onto the thing just for no reason. Especially since I know I can apparate as soon as I get out away from him. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, it'd be one thing if I couldn't apparate, but the fact that all the wizards at that age could apparate, so... Yeah, I would have jumped out. <laughs> like the first opportunity. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay. So I have a total of three. I have three more Wigan Wells on me. Okay. What happened? Mm. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh, there it is. So the chip, so the... Squirrel was all the way over here whenever you popped in. Huh. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. The problem with your statement, Professor Big, is mind your step. How did you know? How do you know your wife even know there's a port key in it? <laughs> a good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts she Castle was, was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But, but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! Point on towards on-screen targets to rapidly select between them. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Hmm. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. Now, the little 
secret that I've heard. some people that do playthroughs don't realize. There are... We're close get now, it's seven just ahead. Treasure chests on the way to Hogwarts. In these first areas. Steady yourself! Repair out! They're all money chests, but there's still seven of them, if I remember correctly. Either six or seven. I think it's seven. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Fortune led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. <laughs> Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! <sighs> How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Number two. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> no way of here. Meanwhile, he's going through his head going, okay, what is that? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got it. Welcome to Gringotts <laughs> Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Still think these would be a disturbing cart to ride. Fun, but definitely disturbing. Now keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I like more of a cart around me than just a seat that I'm sitting on. <laughs> and a footrest. Common and bring us. They are most uncommon. Only 
one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. <laughs> the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Here's number treasure chest number two. Or excuse me, number three. Number two for Grin Gods. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Do you think? <laughs> Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Which makes me... This makes me wonder. If we're just learning how to do the spells now, what spells were we practicing before the game started that he was talking about at the beginning? I mean, were we just pra practicing the basic cast? Revelia. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try again. Are we practicing all the spells? It's just... That's why we picked up the spells so quickly during class. The that's door. possibility. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? 
I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. I did decrease there will be no I just thought of something. I did decrease the under. Yeah, okay. If things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. I was sure. I was pretty sure I put it down to performance mode. <laughs> I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! <sighs> what happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. supposed to go dude <laughs> Revelio. now there Professor? are three treasure chests Professor, hidden where are you? in here this isn't good where am i supposed to go one There's what's two. happening the wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere there's two before the next ancient magic spot and one after. See, here's the magic, oh, that's where they magic spot. Me. That glow again. And there's Lewis. the one after. They're all galleons, but hey. Any, ex any excess ga extra galleon at the beginning is no problem. Alright. I'm yeah, on my own this time. I believe it's about right. Here? Lumos. Nope. There we go.
Nice try. Don't be so. <laughs> and there are no treasure bed, bed chests in this area. Mouth not wanting to work. Come on here. <laughs> That's a total of eight treasure chests. Two. So eight treasure chests before you get to Hogwarts. in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. <laughs> We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. 
Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> nice security alarm. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no matter how many times I see this opening scene here. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly <laughs> losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. 
I have to admit, his complete change in the way he was talking to the pe to the two of them, the way it changed when he started talking to her directly, really makes me think that Professor she Weasley. is a pure. She, One more to be the main character is a pure blood, or well, some type. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I don't know why they added the hunger for power thing into the Slytherin quote. I don't remember that being in the books, the Slytherins hungered for power. <laughs> but no, I'm not Slytherin. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make her an out. Even an outcast, even amongst mouth boys, she's Gryffindor. <laughs> Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone. Must. Better be Gryffindor. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That means leave. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Why aren't the prefects... As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Why aren't just the Gryffindor prefects showing her to the common room? It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I mean, I'm you're leaving the it. first year, sir. I there. remember the first time I entered <laughs> the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. <laughs> Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, I'm not in go the on in worst entrance in the entire you have a big day school. Ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope I'm you so enjoy your first night I'm of sorry, I sleep well. I love Gryffindor, but God it's gotta have the worst entrance in the entire darn school. 
<laughs> but I do have to admit. Oh, looks like uh, everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. The fifth year out of all of the out of, out of all the houses, the fifth the fifth year girls' dorm is definitely the best <laughs> for Gryffindor. Look at the size of this room. I mean, geez, none of the other dorm rooms for the guys or or any of the other common room, any of their houses have a sitting room inside their dorm room. And even on top of that, you go outside the door and there's a sitting room right outside the door too. <laughs> I said, Gryffindor girls have the best. Now, which way is the common room? <laughs> then you come downstairs and walk over here. And they even have a large balcony sitting area. Where they can look down at everybody else. I have to admit. If I was actually in this dorm, I think I'd be, I think I'd sit up here more often than I'd sit down there. For the simple fact, I'm sorry. In regards to common rooms, I truthfully don't like the Gryffindor common room. It's too cluttered for me. Okay, now I'm back up to four wagon welds. It's one complaint I've always had about the Gryffindor common room. It's too cluttered to me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why well, is this not working? Well, if you're doing the color change charm, you oh, seem well to be there. working. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Mm. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going <laughs> to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Oh, you're right. That is Lucas back there. Just lounge. Oh. It's one thing about those chairs. Those are... I sat in those chairs. Those are not comfortable chairs to lounge in. And then of course the little secret we have here. Almost looks like Professor Sharp. Gotta gotta wonder though about this room. I mean it never says anything about it in the books that I that I can remember. So, 
Why did I put it in here? Admittedly, that kind of looks like the lion that was almost a emblem of Luna's hat <laughs> that she wore during the Gryffindor uh, Quidditch game. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. <laughs> Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon. It's true, and I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Either in our common room, or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. <laughs> no, for the Weasley. It'll be the next Butterbeer. Ah. Oh. She moved. Last time I did this, Natty here was sitting over here. Here, have a well, seat. It's good to Go see on. that they at least move around. I sure, care. you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fix. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. <laughs> New Gryffindor. All right. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. All right, um, oh, not really enough time to do the next part before this recording has to end because it's the limit of how much PlayStation allows me to record at one time. So, um, I got an idea. Let's run up and look at the boys' dorm just to see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty much like green. Here's the... Uh, oh wow, they get... That's a very small lounge <laughs> for the boys. <laughs> How about their dorm? Is it pretty much what we see in the movies? Yep. Pretty much all we see in the do movies. Huh. I wonder why the girl, I mean, I'll admit the girls tend to need more room than boys, but I'm just kind of surprised it's, they did it to that extreme. I, mean, I don't think it's, excuse me, I don't think it's anything like that in the other houses. All right. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow.
see you in the next episode where we'll talk to Professor Weasley, take Defense Against Dark Arts and Charms, and we might be able to get in the duel at Cross Wands. I hope to see you then, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. And please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.